giving your heart, your love to somebody and making yourself vulnerable to say, what will you do when I'm really, really hurting, when I'm really down, will you stay or will you go? Hey everybody, it's your girl, Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel where we go all around the world exploring artists, listening to music. I'm debating bringing more than just music to this channel to react and review so we can talk about meaningful things a place of entertainment, education, and encouragement, and I'm happy that you are here. Subscribe, and let's dive in. I want to check out Ren and his song, Crutch, okay? Ren from the UK. We have been exploring all kinds of songs of his. He's got new stuff coming out, and we're excited because today is a very, very special day where his brand new song is dropping, murderer. That's at least what comes to my mind when I see that those lyrics Murderer. Um, it's gonna be good. I know. I know it's gonna be good. So I'm excited to check it out. Okay, guys. But today I want to check out Crutch because various reactors are doing a very special thing where we are getting together and we're releasing and flooding the internet with Ren reactions from all kinds of songs that he's done as we're gearing up for his release, Murderer. Make sure to subscribe. Homeboy deserves a million and more, many, many more, millions of subscribers, not only for his musical skill, his songwriting skill, his literary art, but also because he is a phenomenal human being. I had the chance to interview him. Check that out if you haven't yet. I think he has so much to give to this world. Many of you love and appreciate him. So let's lift him up and let's lift each other up because I want you to know you're just as special. You have something special to give. And we put people on a pedestal. We appreciate people, rightfully so. We appreciate those who bring value to this world. And I hope you know that you do too, that you matter. So let's dive in. Ren, and his song, Crutch. We're going to check out Bibi. Ren featuring Bibi. Seven years ago, half a million views. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. Always good stuff going on. Subscribe, you guys. Welcome to the ride. I'm happy that you're here. And here we go. Commercial. Maybe if I move Maybe my troubles won't follow me I've got none to lose Cause everything turned to dust around me My hope it got so bruised Cause circumstance held me and it drowned me I'm searching for the glue to try and fix these broken things around me Pause just for a moment. Ooh. This is uh I just got done listening to Dominoes and doing did a reaction for that as well. And just exploring the various songs he puts out. I said this when I reacted to Dominoes. It's awesome to see continuously how he puts out how there's such diversity in his songs. It's really not just one copy and paste. It's really unique and various vibes and feelings that the different songs create. Where, for example, Domino's had more of the heavy uh, focus on the guitar when it comes to instrumentation and the rhythmic elements and the vibe that that gave. Here, you have the 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 piano and the select, specifically chosen notes that are being played. That to me make me think of teardrops or rain falling. It's distinct. It is specific. It's targeted. It, it creates more of a dramatic ballad feeling. Him singing here is somber. The video, of course, going with that, right? Him laying there almost naked on the floor, grabbing for things, trying to get a hold, perhaps, feeling the, the cracks in the, in the concrete um, in the description. And I think this is important. It says 
This was shot with no budget at the end of a freaking freezing October. Felt like I was going to get hypothermia lying on a cold slate for a few hours. The song came out about af this song came about after a nervous breakdown following lots of visits to emergency room after some scary health problems. It's a song for anybody who has faced any kind of mental challenges, depression, anxiety, or health struggles while in a relationship and all the fears that come along for the ride with that. It's also a song that for the courageous and wonderful people who support their other halves, families, or friends during times of crises. In whatever context, I hope my music can help take some of the weight from anyone's suffering and help people feel less alone. This was back in 2016. Um, wow. See, so for the longest, Ren has been focused on addressing important matters and lifting others up and... Yeah, not shying away from the heavy topics. And I think this is powerful. We see that with high Ren. We see that with suicide. We see that with sick boy. And even here in older work of his, like Crutch. To try and keep my head, but my God is slipping an unspoken truth. I feel my body dying as the clock keeps ticking and everything I knew. Painted with the fear that it's all for nothing. Could I interrupt? If the weight should get too heavy, I'll help hold this burden. I'll walk with you, my love. Into the fires of hell, if it would ease the burden. But please don't lose your trust. The man I know. Brave, so don't you dare say you're folding I can be your crush Until we both grow old And the curtain's closing Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Hmm. The musical art here. Wow. So Bibi is the guest. Uh, is the guest vocals the lady that's singing here? I not the 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 Bibi I thought initially. I thought it was this artist from South Korea who also goes by Bibi. Um, I'm not sure which uh, Bibi it is. Let me know in the comments below, please, because I'm having a hard time figuring it out. And I'm not sh reading it in the description that I'm aware of. Either way, I liked the complementation between his voice and her voice and her singing in the second verse, almost like a response to him. I'm um, telling him he, she can be his crutch. But then even in the video, as we saw this switch from him pleading to uh, uh, while he holds her, her face, her head in his hands to her not being there anymore. So this idea of the person having left, abandoned the one in need, perhaps feeling alone after all so there's this this idea within the music video of a few elements you guys know we're all about music and psychology so let's dive deep for just a moment elements such as the cold ground <clears throat> excuse me laying on the cold ground nothing but al almost bare right in your birthday suit as it's called sometimes right this this place of being so raw and, and, and naked and vulnerable like we are when we're born and when we die 
back to the basics, to the very, very basics where clothing and shield and armor can no longer protect you, but can't al- also can't hide your pain. You're exposed. You are naked. The elements of the cold ground, right? Life is hard. Mental health is heavy. It is a lonely place. It feels very lonely and very dooming. Depression, anxiety, mental health. It is not a, a, a bed of flowers and a meadow of green. It is not a luscious forest in a, on a midsummer day, right? It's brutal. It's cold. It's lonely. It's bare. His body movements, the way the camera moved around along his body and emphasized both the goosebumps, him freezing, as well, if I saw correctly, as well as the bone structure, <clears throat> excuse me, and the muscles and these elements really showing the humanity of him, of, the, of him, Ren, in this case, but of anyone who is struggling with mental illness, him grabbing the, the concrete, the cracks in the concrete, again, maybe implying this, this desperate attempt at trying to grab a hold of something, also maybe looking for a way out, right? Um, maybe trying to find something, searching for something, uh, emphasizing that there are cracks, emphasizing that it is a rough and raw surface. The lady then uh, appearing and responding to him uh, and, and saying, could I interrupt, right? So, so Ren uh, representing a person here who himself has experienced health issues, mental struggles and, and um, pain, but also I feel like singing on behalf of anyone who knows what that's like, saying very relatable things, asking very relatable questions. My love, if I lose my mind, I'd be so ashamed if you witnessed. That is so relatable. I think it's so, it's hard to come by people who will stick with you through thick and thin, right? When you look at marriage and it says for better or for worse, and then we hear statistics about 50% of marriages failing. From a young age, we learn that things are not built to last. We see families arguing and falling apart, people not talking to each other for years. In our own experience, we see friends coming and going, people falling out. And it, it almost feels like it just increases because we are so overstimulated. It's easier to be distracted. It's easier to find a distraction, right? You could have people breaking up and going their own ways, not just romantically in any relational dynamic and find a distraction. Even if it's not the same type of relationship or new true love, it's distraction. It's someone else to hang out with. It's someone else to feed your loneliness with. And so because of this overstimulation, we have music videos, movies, news, media, magazines. We have all these these social media, the biggest one, I'd say, where we can just stay distracted, where we don't have to actually deal with our own trauma, our own pain, where we don't actually have to deal with our own weaknesses and for lack of better words, sins and struggles. We we don't have to be refined. We can go and we can post and we can vent about other people. And there will be those who take our sides, not knowing the full story. There will be those who affirm us. Oh, absolutely. How could he? How could she? You're absolutely right. But where are the relationships where we can't just run away and find distraction? Where are the relationships where we are actually being refined, where we have to sit in the uncomfortable and stick it out, where we have to face ourselves and look in the mirror and say, oh, snap. This is not only the other, the other person. Maybe I'm part of the problem. Where can I grow? Where can I learn? Right? It is easy to find a, conf- a confirmation bias. It's easy to go Google why the other person that we're with is toxic and unhealthy and narcissistic and wrong. And they might be. This is not to take away from those uh, whom we are in relationships with who are really presenting harmful behaviors with their words and actions. But this is more so to talk about the the need for all of us to self-reflect and not be so quick just to point fingers at everybody without growing and being refined. And this goes for everyone because ultimately that's all we can control. Um, Of course, it can also be a helpful tool because now we can research things. Now we can identify unhealthy behaviors and call things what they are. But I'm just speaking of the need for that balance. Um, We are so easily distracted. We are not being refined. Relationships are come and go and... um, I think people have a hunger for that substance. People have a hunger for someone to stick around in the pain, especially when we're dealing with someone who is hurting, who feels like they are unwell, they're depressed, anxious, mentally ill. And this idea of I'm ashamed for you to witness that is very relatable. Who wants others to see us at our worst? Not to mention when we are so broken down that we can't think, can't breathe, can't sleep. I try my best for you to keep my head, but my God, it's slipping. An unspoken truth. I feel my body dying as the clock keeps ticking, right? Time keeps going and it's just this desperate plea. Things are getting worse. And she responds saying, could I interrupt? 
which is beautiful. It's, it's such a respectful way of saying, may I say something? It's not, it's not coming in bulldozing over the other's feelings saying you're wrong. And let me tell you the truth. Um, though sometimes people need that tough love approach too, right? They need someone to break through that cloud of, of lies that they're suffocating from. But here she's coming with a gentle, respectful way, posing a question. Could I interrupt? If the weight should get too heavy, I'll help hold this burden. I'll walk with you, my love. And there's scriptures, even religious texts, one that comes to mind where it says to carry each other's burdens. That's such a such a powerful thing when you have a friend or someone who you really know well, who you deeply love. I'm not talking about the feeling of love. I'm not talking about the happy, clappy phase or the honeymoon phase of a relationship, not just romantically speaking. I'm talking about truly knowing someone and being known and carrying one another's burdens, loving, forgiving. I'll walk with you, my love, into the fires of hell. Maybe if I move, maybe my troubles won't follow me, right? I think this is also a powerful question because we we try to, as I said earlier, either look for a distraction, we try to go somewhere else, sometimes physically move. This hope that maybe if I go somewhere, if I do something else, my troubles won't follow me. But the problem with anxiety, depression, mental health is that it's within us. And so it will follow us. And that's makes that makes it for even more that causes even more desperation and loneliness in the process. My love, I give to you every single inch of my soul while it bleeds the ultimate vulnerability. I'm confused, but I know in your arms, I find relief. Maybe if I lose my mind, would you stay with me? And so then even in the video, seeing her in his arms, but then also not poses this question of fitting to saying, will you stay? Some will, some won't. And it, it leaves it open, I feel, to that possibility of, of both happening. And that too is terrifying. Giving your heart, your love to somebody and making yourself vulnerable to say, what will you do when I'm really, really hurting, when I'm really down, will you stay or will you go? Very powerful, very raw song. Interesting to see this side of Ren. It was interesting also, last thought, how um, towards the second half of the song, the ending, I think it might have been the bridge, when he sings again, there was a lot of distortion. It sounded, um, some so notes were inten almost sounded intentionally off key to really emphasize the chaos in the mind. Very fitting um, crescendo and uh effect that the song was building up to powerful song to shed light on mental health I think very relatable questions and statements within the lyrics that really shed light on that loneliness and struggle what did you think let me know in the comments below as always like share subscribe make sure to subscribe to Ren I'm excited about his new release and I'll see you on the next ride Ayo. Hey